Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back. It's Cheryl from Cheryl's Creations. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I've had quite the busy week. So I know I'm a little behind, uh, but we'll get caught up and we'll get back on track and see what we can do. Um, I'm back upstairs, I've been working up here a little more. Um, this morning I put together my last set of cube shelves emptied four or five boxes of yarn. Um, I'm pretty well down to the bottom of the yarn. Now I got to pick and choose where to put something that's, you know, an odd skein of this or an odd skein of that. So, um, and then I, I have discovered I have several little bins of um, scrap balls. So I think I'm going to have to do a scrap ball project here real soon. So kind of leaves me with... Um, pretty much a lot of my quilting uh, supplies and stuff. So um, that'll be my next venture up here is to get that done because I have got to get to my sewing machine. I have projects I have to get done. So, so I wanted to catch you up a little bit. Um, I think the last time I did a video, I was going to go do a market that I had originally decided I wasn't going to do because it was outside. But they called me and said I could have an inside booth, so I went ahead and went. Um, and that was, that was a week ago. So um, that was the 21st of October. Um, it went well. Was it my highest selling market? No. Um, it was a different population than I, than I try um, or that I look for. Um, this market was at a fall festival up, um, about 20, 25 miles north of here in a lake community. And so a lot of the people that came were, um, you know, lake people. And I don't say that, that lake people are bad. Um, a lot of older folks, um, who have maybe retired to the lake, um, you know, they weren't necessarily, you know, there wasn't a lot of kid, you know, kids and families and stuff. Although I had some, um, some of them did, um, bring, uh, kids and, and bought stuff. So, um, it, this was kind of a medium, medium high market. I did sell out of, I took, I don't know, I had six or seven of the small uh, plush Triceratops, and I sold all of those. Um, I had made a large Winnie the Pooh. Um, gosh, I think I made it last winter. And um, Lady didn't bat an eyelash at paying $50 for it. And I mean, it was, you know, it was, it was big. It was... Um, in some markets that you all live in, it probably would have been a $75, $85 piece. But here, um, you know, $50 was, I was ecstatic because I, you know, I was expecting it to sit there and I was okay with it because um, I liked it. You know, that's one of my favorites. And, and she did ask me if I would do a piglet. So I'm waiting to hear back from her to see if she wants me to do a piglet also. Um, so what else did I sell? Um, some fidget snakes and I redid my fidget snakes. I'll have to, they'll be in the next video. Um, one of the teddy bears that I added a bow tie to, um, and changed up, he sold, um, sold a couple corn on the cob. Um, you know, just some little things here and there. It wasn't, wasn't huge. Um, but I did sell, so it was worth my day to go. So, um, I have another one on November 11th. I have something fuzzy in my eye. I have enough trouble seeing without something, you know, I've been in and out of all these boxes up here. So, um, so yeah, I have another market. I've got a couple of new items that, uh, will be going with me. And I brought one of them up here to show you today. Um, and this is, um, it's an iguana. Ugh, they're so adorable. Um, it's called Finn the Iguana 
Um, it is a tutorial by Yarnbox, so um, and she is on YouTube, and I will put that in the description so that um, you can do that. And I used uh, Bernat. Some of it was Big Twist um, blanket yarn. So, uh, a little bit of it was Bernat. Um, so six weight, and I used a 6.0 hook. Um, she talks about using a 5.5, but I, with her six weight yarn, um, sometimes that just gets a little tough for my fingers. So, um, it's, it's a real easy pattern. Um, the body is all one piece and then, um, the feet and legs are connected. So you don't have any sewing on of toes. You don't have any clipping and restarting and I'll show you that. Um, so pretty much I did have to sew on the legs, but it's real easy because you close them at the top and you're just sewing across the, the top of them. Um, and the, the fin areas I had to, um, to sew on. So this is the first one I did and he's pretty good size. He's, you know, he's kind of long. Okay. There's his face. I gave him some eyebrows. You probably can't see the eyebrows. I did give him some eyebrows and a mouth. Um, I had to sew on his chin piece and his spikes, but that wasn't that wasn't hard at all. I mean, I just whip stitched them right on. Um, and these are the legs. You close them at the top. So all I had to do was just sew them right across. Um, it wasn't like sewing them on in a circle. So. Um, I think he is absolutely adorable. Not sure what I'm going to price him at yet. Um, he needs to be a little more than what I normally charge because he's a, he's a, a good sized little guy and he will stand up. I just don't have my table in front of me. So once I did him, I decided I had to do another one. So I did this one, I love the yellow and orange. Um, and there's his face. And this, you can't see, for some reason, the eyebrows are up kind of high. So there's their eyebrows. Next time, maybe I'll put the eyebrows a little closer to the eyes. Um, the orange is the um, sparkle, the Bernat sparkle. I don't know if you can see a little bit of sparkle in there. It was the only orange I really had with me downstairs and so um i did the orange and the yellow and my brother actually said he likes the yellow one better than the green one so these two guys are going with me next weekend to the market um and again it, a very easy tutorial and what i did was i let the tutorial play and i wrote it down because stopping and starting just doesn't do well with my brain. So I went through the tutorial, I wrote it down. So um, here is, I do have the, the copy, a written copy, but it is from the tutorial. Um, she's really great at showing you what to do, um, how to put them on. Um, it's about a 38 minute video. Um, so, um, you know, check it out. Um, I've I've gotten a few things from Yarn Box, um, some of the patterns and stuff that she puts up. So, so there's my, there's my little guys. So, um, so that was the, that was the big project of the week. I, I do have a couple other things ready, but I'm going to put them in another video. Um, I've looked up a couple more, uh, different types of things as I watch what other people are selling, watch what my sellers are. Um, if you do mystery bags, if you do markets and you do mystery bags, how well do you do with mystery bags? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, I have a, a few things that it's like, they really haven't gone anywhere. And I'm wondering if maybe they would be good things to put, you know, not that I want to, I want to cheat somebody out of something. No, I don't want to do that. But maybe put them in a mystery box with maybe a fidget snake and, you know, make it a decent deal. And, you know, maybe that will kind of clean up some of my 
my stragglers in my um, inventory. Um, so let me know if you do if you do mystery bags. Um, I'm thinking about doing a couple for for my next market. Um, I have just two left that I'm signed up for for this season. The one is uh, next week, November 11th, and then I have December 12th. Um, so, and then I think that's going to be it. I'm not going to do any more. Um, and I'll just start spending the winter stocking up on lots of good stuff for um, next season. Um, so that's that's kind of where my market stuff is. Um, my, uh, I will have eventually, probably, probably a little after Thanksgiving, I'll have a, a couple of t-shirt quilts, um, or t-shirt blankets, um, to show, uh, because I got to get those done. Um, trying to think if there was anything else happening in, in my neck of the woods, um, watching all my leaves fall. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to either get out there myself and do it or um, call the lady that mows my grass and see if she'll do it, which she did last year. Um, I keep joking with my brother. And for some of you folk, new folks may not know, my brother had a stroke. Um, he's currently living uh, in, in part of my house, the downstairs part of my house. And, and um, he has use of an electric wheelchair. We were we were very blessed to have it because um, it was one that my grandfather bought back in 2005 or six, and he never really used it, and it's just kind of hung around. Put new batteries in it, boom, my brother has an electric wheelchair. And I keep telling him, you know, I'll start up the leaf blower if he goes out there and wheels himself around the yard, and he just doesn't seem to think that's a a real cool idea. He doesn't. I think he's afraid that our, our yard is, has enough holes in it that he might end up laying on the grass. And then we'd really have a problem getting him up. So, cause it takes two of us. Um, he's, he's averaged about one trip to the floor a week since he's been, been home. So, um, uh, it, it takes a bit to get him up. Um, I'm going to have to go start building some muscles, but hopefully it won't keep happening. So, but he's, he, he doesn't get hurt. He just, you know, one leg gives out and off he goes. So, um, I'm not going to keep you all too long. Um, I just wanted to just give you a little update about my world. I know I keep saying it's crazy and it is, um, my appointments, my husband's appointments, my brother's appointments, and somewhere in all of this, I have to go to work, which really isn't fair, but, um, you know, got to make the donuts, right? If you're old enough to know that commercial time to make the donuts. So, um, anyway, have a fabulous weekend. Um, it's going to get cool where I am, but at least the sun is out and I will see you the next time. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Um, crochet away, everybody.